to another GIMP tutorial. Today we're going to be doing memes. How to make your own memes. So the first thing you need to do is load your picture. And what I've done is I went on Google and Googled blank memes and found all those classic familiar memes that you see all the time. And these are blanks. So and nobody's written on them. So so you spend 20 minutes selecting one as I did <laughs> I was trying to think of something what you know what the hell can I write so anyway I selected one and the first thing I did was increase the size of the image so I went to image and scale image and scaled it up I think to about around 800 or so and next thing I do is go to my my font tool and this will allow me to write so you just left click on there and drag out the square I switch the foreground and background because this is a dark picture to a white so that uh, my lettering will show up better So you go ahead and type in your little saying. I think mine was appropriate for this video. <laughs> now since I'm narrating this, I'm about to take a hit off my vaporizer. So, well, hold on. So I increase the size of it. You can increase the size of your your font anytime you want. You can change your font. You can move stuff around. I, right here I'm highlighting because I like to put a space in between my characters and and the box because with certain fonts the box will cut your your characters. So that's why I do that. Excuse me. And of course, every font changes the size of everything. And I'm going to get indigestion now. So I'm just kind of shifting stuff around. Here comes my vapor hit. Alright, so what I'm going to do next was is to blur it I would just uh, go up to filters and it takes me a minute to remember what to do next I didn't know if I should duplicate it first and and then blur my duplicates or just go over and blur it first and then just make duplicates of the blur but I eventually go ahead and blur it first and then make duplicates of it so you go to filters blur Gaussian blur and I turned it up to about 10. That gives you a pretty good blur. And then duplicate that. And then merge all those down by right clicking on the layer and then hitting merge down. And then duplicate that layer. Gives you a real good blur and a real bold blur for a dark picture like that. So next you make another font box. And switch your foreground and background colors. And then retype your meme. I still haven't figured out why Shadow Play has such crappy audio. I would like to just be able to narrate as I go as I'm doing it instead of having to record it and then narrate it. So I go up to my move tool so I can line that up. I line it up. 
once it's lined up I can merge those layers down by right clicking and then hitting merge down right click and merge down so there we go then you go down to export or overwrite now since I have blanks I would just uh, export it to my desktop and be done with it so all right y'all have a good one and thanks for watching and uh, feel free to ask any questions and y'all take care and have a good one laters